yeah, there we go. That's a bridge right there, boys. That's a bridge. I got the docks. Jacksonville's got a port, so you got your port, your cranes. This will be the intercoastal. I'd love to come fish down here. actually coming in. Yeah, check out that beauty. Got all the trains out there, train cars, on the big bridge. Oh yeah. see out where I live because we don't really have a lot of it. You got to drive ways to get to stuff like this. And um, I enjoy going through stuff like that. Like city architecture for like the roads is always interesting to me. How it's been built. How it's been like repurposed because a lot of stuff's been repurposed. Or every once in a while like you'll get stuff that's just abandoned. It's like 70 ish, somewhere around there. It's like you know, with the wind, like it just cools it down. It's probably like a nice 60 degrees. You know, I got a hoodie on in my vest, so. Uh, my road glide blocks a lot. Ryan up there might be a little bit chilly, but uh, I'm pretty comfortable. Like I said, I got a little bit of wind on my wrist where that's a little chilly. In 5.3 miles, take exit 35, I-95. I guess they're going to get on actual 95 here in a little bit. Yeah, this is like 295, so it's like the bypass. Loops around Jacksonville and drops you back on 95.
in one mile. Use the right lane to take exit 35 I-95. Then stay to the right. Old copper. Throw down. That might have should have been our exit. No, not yet. all sounds good going off of that suspension handles bumps pretty well yeah I softened it up a little bit for the trip and uh, makes a big difference the preload adjusters really help for the front end exit right to exit 35 I-95 then use the right lane to stay to the right to I-95 North Port International Airport Savannah